Bitcoin is in the news and almost every crypto post seems to be related to three magic letters, ETF. Now, people are expecting that these ETFs will be huge for altcoins as liquidity floods into crypto and more holders are in profits. But are their profits really safe? Well, even Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock, is saying buying Bitcoin is a flight to safety. And now more and more holders want to know how to use their Bitcoin to earn yield. So with new financial innovations comes new risk and choosing the best DeFi protocols has never been more important. We'll also cover some of the problems with alternative bridging options and why Polkadot has a secret Bitcoin DeFi gem that could be a game-changing solution. Once a laughing stock of the financial bros, the big institutions are now watering at the mouth to jump into the world's most profitable asset class over this past decade. But there's a problem. The Bitcoin network was not designed well for applications like DeFi to be built on top of it. Instead, the network has had a huge rise in costs and extremely long transaction times as usage and applications increase. Now, there are some people trying to solve this problem, and they're building native Bitcoin solutions to create scalable applications for the Bitcoin network. For example, the Lightning Network is one of the most famous solutions to address Bitcoin's limitations. It's touted by supporters like Michael Saylor as a way to bring Bitcoin into everyday use. But Lightning may be more hype than reality. Less than 6,000 coins have ever been used on the Lightning Network, and it has even more technical problems. To use the Lightning Network, you have to open payment channels between users with pre-funded amounts of Bitcoin. Since it's not practical for every transactor to create a payment channel with every single merchant or recipient, Lightning wallets try to find an optimal route via hops through existing payment channels until the payment reaches its destination. The problem is, it often doesn't. Then there's the problem that the Lightning Network users must remain online at all times for channels to stay open reliably. Go offline and there's a risk one party may settle on the main Bitcoin chain or just steal the funds. So the long story short is this. Bitcoin is great for saving, it's just not great for moving and using. But that's okay. Like most original ideas, it was inevitable that more networks would improve as we learned more about Bitcoin's weaknesses. Hence the explosion of altcoins like Ethereum, Cardano, Polkadot, and many others. Regardless, there should still be a market to put Bitcoin, the hardest money on earth, into finance applications. It just may not be built directly on the Bitcoin network. Instead, it's become popular to bridge Bitcoin out using cryptocurrency bridges into different existing networks like Ethereum. This helps solve the limitations of the Bitcoin network by using different blockchains. However, bridges are notorious for bugs and hacks. In 2022 alone, over $2 billion were stolen due to bridge hacks. The blockchain behind Axie Infinity had a bridge hack that lost $625 million. The Wormhole Bridge saw a $325 million hack due to an overlooked security flaw. Bitcoin is supposed to be the hardest and safest money on Earth, and this unsafe bridge reputation puts a wet blanket on the potential of Bitcoin DeFi on other chains in the eyes of holders. If only there were a way to do Bitcoin DeFi safely without the risk of losing your funds. Well, this is what one amazing project on Polkadot is solving. Enter Interlay, a DeFi platform focused on bringing innovation to Bitcoin without compromising security and decentralization. It leverages the security and scalability of the Polkadot relay chain to bring Bitcoin into a better DeFi-friendly environment. Here's how it works. Users send their Bitcoin to a vault secured by the Interlay network, a pair chain of Polkadot. These vaults are kept by independent vault keepers with one amazing feature. These vault keepers have to put up even higher collateral or insurance in the form of stable coins or Polkadot tokens. So if they lose your Bitcoin, you automatically get more in value than your Bitcoin was worth. This is because the vaults are over collateralized. Ultimately, this is the best kind of insurance, essentially giving you no risk to bridge your Bitcoin and put it to work. Once deposited, Interlay mints wrapped Bitcoin that you can use to generate yield. InterBTC is compatible across multiple parachains, and this is because of the amazing cross-messaging system built into Polkadot. InterBTC can be used seamlessly to participate in lending, borrowing, trading, and staking applications. And at any time, users can redeem their InterBTC for the original Bitcoin that still exists on the Bitcoin network, which is then released from the vault. Interlay's solution for Bitcoin DeFi on Polkadot is a game changer for the DeFi space. Bitcoin holders can rest assured in putting their native Bitcoin to work through Interlay with real tangible insured vaults rather than buggy smart contract bridges that you have to trust. The technical power and security of Polkadot make it an ideal platform for DeFi applications to flourish like Interlay, doubling the safety for your money. The future of DeFi is safe and bright with Polkadot leading the way.